So let's talk real quick about fake news. Fake news is basically news which is fake. So it's not just news that has a bias that you disagree with. It's basically lies, right? Knowingly with the intention of deception. It's news that isn't real. It's news about stuff that didn't happen. That's designed to fool you. Fake news is often political to feed into a sense of outrage. It's designed generally to go viral so they can bring you to that fake news website. Here's a fake news website, AWD News. It's designed to look like a real news website. It's not. They want you to go onto that website so they can generate ad revenue. That's a common motivation. These fake news stories can have real consequences, not just for influencing elections, influencing how people feel about certain people. But in this case, the headline was Israeli defense minister says if Pakistan sends ground troops into Syria for any reason, we'll destroy the country with a nuclear attack. He didn't say that, but this went viral. And it actually caused some tension between Israel and Pakistan. They had to sort it out and realize, oh, this wasn't real. You didn't actually say that. Okay, so that was kind of scary, right? Fake news works because it's exciting lies. So here's a quote from the author and neuroscientist Abhijit Naskar. The human brain has not evolved to perceive reality. It has evolved to create an illusion of reality. That's why an exciting lie gains more attention than a boring truth. It's um, kind of one of those deep thought kind of things, but it's pretty straightforward. Everything that you're seeing and interacting with is an image created in your brain in order to interpret the data that you're getting from your senses. And that image that your brain is creating, if that is a lie, if you're being told a lie, that's really interesting, that's really engaging, you're gonna start seeing the rest of the world around you through that more exciting lie because that lie is getting more of your attention. And this can start distorting your perception of reality. People are likely to believe lies if they're exciting enough. So how do you spot fake news? Look beyond the headline. This one says, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez proposes nationwide motorcycle ban. She didn't. Well, if I were to really look at this, I'm going to see this is from the website tatersgonnatate.com. Does that sound like a news organization? Not really. So I'm a little skeptical about this one just from that. It doesn't mean that it's fake per se, but I'm going to maybe elevate my level of skepticism. So you got to check the sources. Check the author. Who wrote this? What else have they written? Is this author reputable? You can check the photos. Sometimes photos are used in really misleading ways. So maybe someone will post a war photo and say, oh, this is the result of a riot or a protest or something like that. But it's not. It's from like a different country. So you can go to tinai.com and drop that photo in and you can see where else that photo has appeared on the internet. Maybe you can find the original source. You can check Snopes. Think critically about Snopes too, because you know Snopes has bias, especially around subjective things like how many Pinocchios they're going to give something. But Snopes is basically just there to debunk bad information that's floating around. So generally, just think critically and apply skepticism. And don't eat the onion. So there's also satire on the internet. There's websites like The Onion, Clickhole, or Battle on B. They're not fake news because they're not designed to mislead. They're just designed to make you laugh. But if you don't know that, you could think they're real. That's called eating the onion because of theonion.com. So for example, this satire piece of news is, I have a theory that Donald Glover and Childish Gambino are secretly the same person. They are. Childish Gambino is Donald Glover's name that he uses for his hip hop career. And this user they ate the onion. They responded to it as if it's a real thing. They said they do look super similar. They do, don't they?